What's going on guys, Aaron here from Departures Capital. Thank you for tuning into my stream. If you guys are tuning in after the fact that we've been live, hit that like button. If not, hit that like button and um, let's get straight into things. I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes just to join up, just to uh, get populated and then we will um, get straight into all the stuff that we're talking about today. So we'll give you guys a couple minutes. I just wanna load up the comments here on my phone. What's going on? Roy is the first one. What's up, Roy? What's up, Dale? We got two new people in here today. I haven't, I haven't seen you guys before. I've seen you before, Roy, but... Dale, what's going on? We're going to be taking a look at a bunch of stuff. Here, let's... Uh, let's flip to what we're taking a look at. Chucky50 and Armando. Yes, sir, we're watching gold, too. Supposed to jump on at, at one o'clock, but we're a tiny bit late to the party, but we're here now. We're gonna be taking a look at gold for sure. There's one stock that I'll probably be buying more of today. Yeah, my pleasure. You know, those videos don't get a, as many views usually, but um, I don't care. I'm, I'm just a super gold bull, so I'll be putting out more and more videos on gold as we follow the market and kind of see what's popping for gold. We just wanted to take a quick look at cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin's pushing almost 4,000. And um, we'll see if it's actually a recovery or not. Oh yeah, shoot, I forgot to say guys, hit that like button. Hit that like button, support my stream. There's two things, I, there's one thing I wanted to look at within the crypto space. I know some of you guys don't really care that much about Bitcoin. But there was one miner. Yes, we'll get straight to the weed stocks. Don't worry. Um, there's one miner in the crypto space that's been on fire recently. Today, Yamana and Kinross. Nice. Yeah, it's good to potentially could be good to buy the pullbacks. We are seeing a nice little pullback here in gold, and it might be uh, worth taking a look at. But take a look at Hive blockchain, guys. This stock sold down to 27 cents. We're currently trading at 51 cents. Down 5% on the day, but the stock's had a crazy run. Now, don't get me wrong. This stock has gotten killed. But if cryptos show any signs of life, Hive could easily go back to a dollar. We'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, Ripple 2, good insurance. Yeah, I think some of those miners are good insurance. So, anyways, we will get on to... Some news, we'll check in on the markets and then get straight to weed stocks. So economic data, healthcare shares, pressure Wall Street. This was put out at 1.02 p.m., so very recently. U.S. stocks edged lower on Thursday after recent run of gains, pressured by weak economic data and drop in healthcare shares, while investors kept a close watch on U.S.-China trade talks. We're not really seeing much of a pullback anyways. Now we're going to take a look at commodities in a sec. Gold's taking a heavy, heavy sell-off today. Crude selling off too, and I'm going to assume that the U.S. dollar is pushing higher on the day. Dollar's not up by much. Dollar's only up by 0.19%. So, hard to say what's pushing gold down. Probably just a bunch of traders taking profits. It's funny how fast we sold off once we hit that uh, 20, uh, 1350 level. Read about future cell phones with built-in crypto wallets. I took a killing from hash chain tech. <clears throat> yeah, man, a lot of those crypto miners got killed. I, I took a beating on high blockchain, don't get me wrong, so. Did you buy did you buy Fire and Flower IPO which released this week? I did not, but feel free to drop that ticker symbol. We'll take a look at that. And then we're gonna get straight into the weed stocks right now. Alrighty guys, so Chiron Life Sciences again on fire, pushing towards four bucks. This is one of those stocks that I said could potentially just keep running. I don't know how far we're gonna run though. We'll have to see. We'll have to see for that. <clears throat> oh. Alright guys, so let's see. Boss is boss is the number two gainer on the day. So much Wrap on my chair. Sorry, one second. 
coats and stuff. All right. There you go. Wow, we're losing mad viewers. <laughs> okay, guys, sorry about that. So, Green Thumb Industries, Suniva. Wow, Suniva is making a massive run into the into uh, into late in the day. That's awesome. Heritage Cannabis, MOM Nutraceuticals, international canna brands in the green today. We're seeing a lot of stocks move into the green, and um, Oscan's one of the biggest decliners. It's amazing. That stock already got beat up like crazy. So, what is going on for Oscan? Liberty Leaf declining 4%. Wayland has not been doing well recently. Just added Naturally Splendid to the list. That's an interesting one to take a look at. Namaste Technologies down to 110. Zenabis. I just added Zenabis to the list down 3%. Charlotte's Web. New Strike Brands. A lot of stocks flat on the day. Flat to, flat to 1%. We're not seeing too much movement. Let me know what you guys are looking at or what you guys want me to take a look at. Um, surprise CGC didn't take a bigger hit after their mistake. Yeah, we'll take a quick look at Canopy stock. Don't forget, Canopy's sitting on that massive chunk of cash. So I personally think it can only go so low. But um, yeah, we're so let's take a quick look at Chiron Life Sciences. Stock's on fire again. Anybody who bought that dip, it's it's crazy. This thing just seems to keep running and running and running. Where's the neurosis when you need them? All right, we'll take a look at T God in two seconds. What's going on, Cambridge Motors? Cambridge Motors. How are you today? We're also going to be taking a look at Ceneva and Oscan, but we'll take a look at T God right now. It's always good to check in on T God. Alrighty. So T God looks to be pretty stable holding on to their gains here. What are we at now? We're almost back to a billion dollar market cap. That's pretty cool. I mean we're still definitely in the lower end of our fifty two week range. Um Yeah, T God's looking pretty nice right now actually. Looks like we could see a little bit more consolidation. With a potential move higher, but 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 the thing is, um, I like I said, I'm kind of shaky on the markets right now, guys. So if we do see the markets uh, pull back a bit, we could see some of these cannabis stocks pull back a bit. Big fat like, drop a big fat like, drop a big fat like for my channel, and one, I got one big fat dislike. <laughs> but it's all good, guys. <clears throat> So yeah, feel free to request any other stocks. Otherwise, I'm going to be taking a look at the other stocks that I look at every day. So Suniva moving up to 550. So far, Suniva's proven to be a pretty good buy. Um, I think we bought it at about 450, so we're up a buck on it already. It's made a nice little run. Suniva's one of our top picks for the U.S. market. Wesley Strong. I don't follow. I'm sorry. All I see is a question mark, buddy. <laughs> okay. Next company we're taking a look at, Oscan Group. This stock can't seem to catch a break, setting fresh 52-week lows. 52-week range of 41.5 cents to a buck 80. It's an Australian company. The stock's down like crazy, but it is looking to be potentially running into... That last support support level before. I don't know how low this company could go. What's going on, Launch Seven? Thanks for tuning in. I couldn't make uh, I couldn't make the morning stream because I had a killer headache today. But we're here now. What's going on, Nick? Thanks for tuning in. All right, guys. So we have some requests now. BDI and Emerald Health. BDI and Emerald Health Black Diamond Group Limited. I've never taken a look at this stock before, so let's take a look at it. Always like researching new companies. $118 million market cap, 52 week range of a buck 65 to almost four bucks. Let's see what they do. 
Cannabis company which rents and sells modular workforce accommodation and space rental solutions to customers in Canada. So they they're, they're in the construction services. That's an interesting one. I, I do like the well. I like energy and infrastructure companies and companies that build infrastructure. But I don't know what to say about this one. If you've got some good info on the company, please let me know. But right now, I mean, they're not paying a dividend. It's not, it's, personally, it's not my sector that I invest in, but it could be an interesting one. It looks to be substantially low, but the stock looks like it's been low for a while. So, okay guys, next stock, Emerald Health MedMen, and then we'll talk about Alifia. Emerald, I hope I spelled that right. EMH, right? Emerald Health, Techn Health, Emerald Health Therapeutics. Cool, cool, cool. Emerald Health Therapeutics. I've heard a lot about the company. Haven't done too much research about it. Currently, we're sitting at $3.99. 52-week high of $6.35. 52-week low of 2 bucks. So we're right in the middle. Charts are looking all right. Charts kind of remind me of Aurora Cannabis, actually. It's a very, very similar looking chart. Let's see exactly what they do. And then we'll take a look at MedMen and Aleaf, yeah? Oh, this is must have been a reverse takeover, right? Because they're talking about emerald oil. All right, it looks to be a reverse takeover. I can check out their website later. Feel free to drop some more info if you own the company or you know, you've got some more information about it. I don't know everything about every company, but in terms of just Based on the charts, looks like the stock has recovered pretty nicely off those uh, December 24th lows. I'd be neutral on it right now. Unless I had a super bullish case for buying it. <clears throat> Alright, so MedMen. MedMen has clawed its way back up to 4 bucks. I don't know what we're sitting at on day. We might be just below 4 bucks. We're also going to be taking a look at one stock that we could potentially be buying some more of today, guys, and uh, taking a look at our shopping list for 2019 in a little bit. But first, I want to take a look at a couple of these cannabis stocks just to see how they're performing. Yeah, MedMen's treading water at about four bucks. We're sitting at 3.99 right now. What do I think about MedMen? I think we've kind of bounced off those lows over here, but. The chart's definitely looking good. We have bought some MedMen in the low, low, low fours, and in the and then right when it dipped to like 380 or 370, picked up a little bit more. So I believe we're in MedMen right in around four bucks. What's up, Rekin Rock? Thank you for tuning in, buddy. Nice to see you here. <clears throat> so Invictus MD, Alif oh, so Alifia Health. Been watching Leafy Health for a very long time. I believe it's on our top watch list. So we'll get into that. Invictus MD. So personally for Leafy Health, I don't want to buy it unless it goes to two bucks. So if we see some kind of pullback, I'd like to pick it up at two bucks. But the only problem is We'll see if it sells off a little bit. I could see it, like I said, I could see it selling off to two bucks if the market pulls back a little bit more. Steve Wilson. That's awesome, buddy. Hit the like button. That's the kind of, um, <laughs> that's the kind of support I want. Aurora Cannabis' uh, live stream was crazy. Oh, and just so you guys know, <coughs> sorry about the cough. We've contacted Aurora to try and get Cam Batley on her show, so we'll see what happens. I'll contact them a couple times. I'm not afraid to keep messaging them, so uh, I think that'd be a really sweet interview. We're working on a lot of different interviews for you guys. That's something else I want to focus on is interviews. I think it'd be pretty cool. So anyways... Back to, back to, back to the show. Sweet. 
Sorry. Yeah, why not hear from the man, Cam? Just gotta load up the chat here. I know the next stock that we we're looking at was um, 2,000 viewers then. Yes, sir. That's the goal. That's the goal. All right, so Invictus MD. I always get Invictus MD confused with uh, Ianthus Capital. I know that sounds really silly, but probably just the names. Invictus MD, $111 million market cap. Also heard a lot about this company. Haven't done too much research about it. Looks to be downtrending again. I'd wait. I would definitely wait. This chart's looking a little bit concerning for me. Looks like we could potentially sell it back down to 80 cents. Hard to say. What's up, Recon Rock? Is ACB still downtrending? I don't... <laughs> it's really hard to say. We'll look at ACB right now. Honestly, I'm super neutral on ACB right now. I, it hasn't been downtrending. It's been putting in a little bit of support. I, it beats me, guys. Honestly, ACB looks like it's going to hold 9 bucks for now. What's going on, Levon? Good good morning. Good afternoon. It's 1.35 here in Canada, so we're here on the East Coast. Not the East Coast, but the... Closer to the East Coast than the West Coast. <coughs> All right, sweet. So, yeah, I don't know what to say about ACB, guys. It must suck watching all these pot stocks fly while your baby withers on the vine. City Guyable, uh, which which one are you talking about? EVIO. Let's take a look at EVIO. We were gonna look at Wayland, but we'll look at Wayland in a second. Wayland's not doing too good today. Kind of a Looks like Wayland's downtrending again. Holy. What's going on with this one? Yes, yeah, Steve, sorry about that. I got that I got that mixed up. But we're closer to the east than we are the west. <laughs> Formerly Signal Bay through its subsidiaries. Tell me if the music's too loud also. There we go. Provides advisory management and analytical testing services to legalize cannabis industry. That's pretty cool. So thanks for pointing this one out. Let's take a look at the charts for this one. EVIO. Shout out to City Guyable for talking about EVIO, bringing that to my attention. Stock's looking pretty good. You know, that's definitely a cool sector the financial services sector of the cannabis industry. Because at the end of the day, these companies all need financing. And it's hard to get it sometimes. I'm from the East Coast. I can toss a rock and hit the ocean. Yeah, you're lucky. How is it? What's it like out there, Steve? Which which province are you? And you don't got to disclose location or anything, but um, yeah, which province are you? No one can test no one can test as faster than EVIO Labs. P20, P20. Is that legit a stock? Launch 7. Drop a ticker symbol. We'll take a look at it for you if I can find it. But in the meantime, I just want to quickly take a look at the charts for Wayland. Wayland looks to have been downtrending from a buck, almost a buck and a half. Newfoundland. Good stuff. Wayland just can't seem to catch a break. Some of us thought we were breaking out a little bit and then we decided to sell off again. I'm completely neutral on Wayland right now. I think it could drop back down to 90 cents. We're just holding it. I'm going to hold the whole position. Don't plan to sell it. Substantially down on, uh, on Wayland though. Has not been a great buy. Naturally splendid. Flat at 14 cents. <coughs> Excuse me. I remember I looked at this company back in... Uh, I would say back 
after legalization. This thing shot up like no tomorrow on legalization and then it started to crash hard. Honestly, right now in and around these levels, I think naturally splendid 13, 14 cents. It's looking pretty good. The stock's kind of stable, stabilized. Travel the world trading ACB, but I need your futon. That's awesome, man. That's the dream. Um, Yeah, got to ask my tenant where we got that futon. I've had this thing for years. This thing was here when I had another tenant and then I moved away and then we had a new tenant and we put the thing in storage and yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's been through the war. Um, I added to Chiron and Labs this morning, sold half my position, nice profit adding again. Premier gold mines, por favor. Let's do it. Premier gold. Oops, I spelled it wrong, sorry. Premier gold. Premier gold mines limited. $2.12 on Chiron, that's awesome. Nice buy on Chiron. I haven't touched it yet. I've been talking about how I think it's just gonna keep running, but I'm just not gonna do a momentum trade. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a momentum trade when I feel like the market's gonna pull back, but any of you guys who've risked it and have won so far, you have my, uh, I think that's awesome. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, Premier Gold Mines, four hundred eight million dollar market cap, fifty two week range of a buck thirty nine to three forty three. I just want to see where they're based out of because this might be. I, I like the charts for this actually. Let's see. Is a Canada based mineral exploration company focused on exploring for developing gold deposits in North America? The principal projects are the Trans Canada property which includes the Hard Dock Project and the Brook Bank Project. So Nevada, Nevada, Thunder Bay, Nevada. South Arturo Mine is located 40 miles. Okay, so they're in Nevada and Canada. That's not too bad. Low political risk for the company. Thanks for bringing that up. I'm gonna add that to my watch list. So we will tell you guys the one stock that we're looking at today, looking at buying a little bit more. Okay, so we're continuing to have a good one, folks. See you later, Levon. I don't want to chase it. Yeah, man, I know, right? Chiron's, it's one of those stocks that it's like a show. It's nice to watch, but I'm just not participating in it right now. Me too. Me too. I'm the same. Same boat. Okay, so I just want to take a quick look at our stocks to watch for 2019. But first, actually, we're going to add that. We're going to add Premier Gold to our stocks to watch list. PG. Perfect. ISO deals in the green. Let's go. Come on. Premier Gold. There we go. All right, let's sort by biggest gainers. Kirkland Lake on the day. Oh, man, again, up another 6 to 8%. That stock's crazy. Micron Waste Technology is declining 5%, Wayland 4.46%. First Mining Gold, looking to pick some of this up. Might, might pick up a little bit of this. I'm talking like, it's hard to say. We did hit a high of 39 cents recently. I do think we're on the cusp of a breakout. I regret not buying at 32 cents. This is one that I want to pick up so badly but gold ran like and you couldn't catch it gold's gonna ugh. it's really hard to say i feel like gold is gonna have a hard time breaking 1350 but when and if we do we're gonna we're gonna keep shooting but for now it's tough i do like first mining gold though i want to pick some of that up what else we got here guys freeport mcmoran down 2.85 percent Stock finally pulled back just below 13 bucks, but it's been on a tear. We just bought this one at 10. 
So up 30% in the last month, pretty nice. Bounced off its lows. GT Gold, Barrick Gold down 2.8%. First Majestic down 2.7%. EA and Activision Blizzard continue to sell off. I was very tempted to buy Activision Blizzard at 44 bucks, but I didn't just because I thought the market was going to keep selling. And so far it's proved, proved very really good. Yes, Jay's in the house. What's going on, Jay? But yet you don't want to pick up Kirkland Lake. Look at their news today in the jump. <laughs> I'll take a look in a sec. Yeah, yeah, just give me a sec. 8.2%. I don't know. I just can't buy into the hype. It's like buying into Chiron. It's like the Chiron of the gold miners. But I can't lie, the stocks just performed a top performer. $10 billion market cap, nine best stocks to invest. Yeah, I, I read that article. I don't know the exact news. Drop the article if you got that article on Kirkland Lake. I can't lie, the stock's a double bagger over the last year. 100% gains. So, Kirkland Lake's a watch for me. We'll just Google it. We'll just Google it. Let's see, what is the news for Kirkland Lake? Increases 2019 production guidance to 920,000 ounces. Expects a million ounces in 2019, so they're gonna be producing more gold. That's pretty awesome. See, <clears throat> at this point, I just don't see how much more it can run. I'm not looking to invest in a chart that looks like that. It could keep running. I mean, what, what? Yeah, see, no, I don't know. First, that's just my opinion. I'd rather buy into a gold miner that's been up, that's been beat up recently and has tons of room to run. Like, oh, it's hard to say, especially after running 8%, I'd be super not that excited about buying. I agree with CGC targets, especially since the USA is starting to talk about legalizing and have started to pass the law now. So guys, let's take a look at a few more. Activision Blizzard and EA, we're going to be taking a look at those two. Facebook's down 1%. Brookfield Real Estate, 1%. Tencent. Chinese tech has been holding in there really nicely. Northwest Healthcare Properties. Might want to take a look at that one. Severia, I'm looking at Severia. Oh, Alkaline Water, man, this stock decided to recover. Yeah, that's true, Jay. I mean, everybody has has their own opinion. I I agree with that. It, it's hard to say. <laughs> it's hard to say right now. Suncor FSD International Canada Brands, 48 North Extended Care, all flat. Aurora barely in the green, up 02 percent. Christ Energy Trust continues to gain. Stock pissed me off. <laughs> Alibaba in the green. Chartwell Retirement Residences. Oops. We're seeing utility companies bid higher today. Fortis. Hitting new all time, uh, new. I think we're hitting a fresh high for Fortis. Enbridge, even Oxley Cannabis is in the green today. But Suniva is the big, big, big winner. Let's see what we got. CGC equals an eggplant. That is pretty funny. Yes, Neurosis. Neurosis had to come in and talk about Chiron. So, Chiron is on fire though. We can't lie. Northwest Healthcare Properties might add some more to this one. Like that stock, Severia Corporation. Severia Corporation took a big dive. I was looking to pick it up at 12 bucks. Super annoying. We'll take a look at this one actually. Let's see why they dropped 10%. Hydro One, 
I do like most of the Hydro Utility Co's. Declares its monthly dividend. I don't know why Severia... I don't know why Severia um, dropped so much. It must have been because of the quarter. Yeah, it was their fourth quarter results. Huh. We are disappointed that we could not achieve our full year adjusted EBITDA guidance. However, I am confident in our team and the initiatives that we have undertaken in Q4 2018 will enable us to realize significant cost savings for 2019. Margin of 15%. So, Severia, it was it was because they guided lower. Okay, so like button people show Aaron love smash the like button listen to neurosis he's got he's got the ideas down that's what i'm talking about all right man why did water have to recover I'm so annoyed right now water sold down to 419 i'm looking to pick this stock up but not after that ah that's frustrating should have been on the ball here. Look at those charts. It looks like we're due for a bounce. But we could test it again. If we see a little more red in the market, we could potentially see water sell down a little bit more. I've been watching this stock for a long time. I want to pick it up at 4 or 350. Okay, we'll take a quick look at some of Jay's picks in the power sector. As soon as we just crush through the rest of these charts, I just want to look at these charts real, real, real quick. So we're seeing Chartwell retirement residences continue to rise. Stock looks like it could be potentially trying to make a little bit of a breakout. Fairly defensive stock. Pays a nice 3.96% dividend. So that one's looking pretty good. Fortis on the rise again. Getting closer to those 52-week highs of 48 bucks. Tempted to sell Fortis if we make it to 50 bucks or something because the dividend keeps shrinking as it goes up. Activision Blizzard. Stock can't catch, can't catch a break. I'll start a position at 40. For now, I'm neutral. As I just think that it's going to still trend a little bit lower. Might trend to like 30, 35. We'll see. EA back down under 100. Totally watching this stock, waiting for it to sell off back to like 85. Yes, sir. Could not be happier with Algonquin Power and Utilities Co. It's our biggest position within the uh, utility sector, Algonquin. And that stock has been a phenomenal performer. Premier Gold, we're going to close that. Whaling Group, we're going to close that. EVIO, Ceneva. T God, first mining. All right, so let's take a look. I'm telling you, stay away from ACT until they start releasing Call of Duty for free. Yeah, I mean, you could be right. I'm tempted to take a small position in case they have some kind of announcement that's going to prop up the stock. Now, once again, that's speculation, so it's not really the greatest way to invest, but I just think that the company is uh cheap right now yeah it's the video game sector is definitely shifting i mean we're, we're, we're moving away from that traditional go to the store and buy a game so good point good point all right jay so let's take a look at some of those power companies that you were talking about because i'm gonna add them to my utility portfolio so let's go with the picks hydro one Hydro One Limited. Let's take a look at that. Stratico Resources. We'll open up one more tab. Stratico. Wait. S T R A T. <laughs> Can't find this one. Tell me the stock ticker. 
Yeah, I can't find that one. Sorry. Hydro one trading at twenty bucks a share. It's been pretty stable recently. Twelve billion dollar market cap. Holy. Stock is down substantially though. We've seen twenty six dollar highs. It's only been trading since twenty sixteen, but we saw twenty six dollar highs, paying a four point four six percent dividend. Twelve billion dollar market cap. This company looks pretty nice. Good pick on Hydro One. V dot RSC. All right, so let's take a look. RSC maybe potentially. Man, still can't find it. I'll just Google it. S R S I F. Okay, I'll just Google it. Investing.com can't pick it up. Stratico Resources. Uranium Exploration. Ah. What? It says it's zero cents. Point one cents. <laughs> I don't get it. Is it an IPO? It's like 0.1 cents. Not that it matters with the stock price, but $4 million market cap. Could We could buy the company, guys. Who wants to go splits? You should be able to pick up Hydro One off a bit lower, though mid-19s at some point. AT is the Atlantic Power. All right, cool. I love looking at utility companies, so any of you diehard Departures Capital fans, who are not super diehard in the cannabis sector, or you guys are, but you want to learn more, we're going to be taking a look at some utility companies right now. Utility companies get me fired up just as much as cannabis companies do. <laughs> Atlantic Power Corporation. Okay. <clears throat> wow, we're seeing so much green for the utility sector. Except for Brookfield Infrastructure Partners. I want to see this stock sell off, guys. I want to buy that in Alta Gas. Cryos Energy. Let's see the biggest gainer on the day, Algonquin Power and Utilities. Loud music? Is it? Is it loud? Hold on a sec. Is it loud? I can't hear anything, man. Sorry. <laughs> it's just a random beat playing in the background. All right, what do you think is a better buy, Kush Bottles or Tilt Holdings? <laughs> yeah, the music. Oh, shoot. Change that song. It's just a beat. It's just a free beat. That's all it is. What the heck is this, though? There we go. Oh, we're playing the song Bean. Brookfield Infrastructure Partners. The stocks. I really was looking to buy it at 32, but it's gotten away from me. Still pays a 5% dividend, though, but I'm not buying this thing until it pulls back again. Weird. What do you think about Bollard Power Systems or L N E L A S A? Well, first I want to quickly take a look at Kush Bottles or Tilt Holdings for my man, or for my not my man. Sorry, I thought that was Michael, but it's Michelle. <laughs> K S H P. I'm probably gonna say Kush Bottles. Fish Bottles having a nice day today at 4%. I love what Kush Bottles are up to. We've we've taken a look at this stock before. It is on the higher end of its 52 week range though. $77.20. 
is the tie, and we're all already at 620. Tilt Holdings. <coughs> Tilt just had a really nice run, so be cautious about the stock right now. Yeah, it went from, uh, it's up, but not that much. But that was a massive run. I'd have to do more research about Tilt Holdings, $319 million, $18 million market cap. But hard to say. I like Kush bottles. You should buy some Playboy SPO. <laughs> we'll get you off my hand. Tilt's numbers are tier one. <clears throat> Check Ed from Midas Letter Crown Mining up 22%. Really? If you got the ticker, let me know. Yeah, I need to look more into Tilt. Honestly, I've done like zero research about Tilt. Lots of these stocks get recommended, I add it to the watch list and we do our research together. So we're just assembling the biggest watch list for cannabis stocks. <clears throat> CWM. Crown Gold Corporation. Wow. Was that the one you were talking about that he owns like a big chunk of, yeah, a big chunk of the company, right? Nice. Nice gains. A R R Y. <clears throat> Array Biopharma. Two point three seven percent down in the day. Stock's looking pretty strong though. Almost a five billion dollar market cap. It's a pharma company. I'm not too big into pharma. Biopharma biopharmaceutical company focused on the discovery, development, and co commercialization of targeted small molecule drugs to treat patients afflicted with cancer. Yeah, I'm not too big into uh, pharma companies, but just because of they've got tons of potential. This stock looks really nice, though. But the penny stock problem is liquidity. It might stay 14 cents, but if you're selling it 12 to 13, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> that is the problem about penny stocks. This spread when you're buying or selling is always way out of whack. All right, guys, let's see where we're at here now. 43 minutes so far on the stream, so that's looking pretty good. Feel free to drop those comments. Let me know what else you'd like me to take a look at. I try to cover every stock. I try to cover all the requests. I want to see what is going on for some other portfolios. <clears throat> Let's check in on the financials today. We're seeing the financials mainly in the red. Golden Sachs, Manulife. First Nationals up though. Flower one. And what are my thoughts on ACB? All right, sir. Flower One Holdings never looked at this stock before. Up 9%. <coughs> 352 million dollar market cap. Formerly known as the Resources Cannabis Company engaged in the cannabis business sector. Cultivator and producer of the recreational and medical cannabis. 455,000 square foot greenhouse space in Nevada. Company invests in development and production of a diverse range of product derivatives. Cool, that's one to add to our watch list. Let's look at the charts. Holy, stock's exploding. Hard to say right now. You know I don't like to buy 52 week highs, but it's definitely one to watch. Let's add it to the list. Phone. Phone, phone, phone. 
There we go. It's added to our cannabis watch list. Mexico is going legal tomorrow. I didn't know about that. ERBB. American Green Incorporated. Just waiting on that to load up. Give me two seconds, guys. And then we'll take a look at the other stuff. Holy smokes, this stock's up 50%. $7 million market cap. Ah, oh, this, no, this, this looks crazy. This is a micro, micro cap. Engaged in the medical marijuana business. The company has six employees. The company offers a line of products spamming from cultivation to tracking inventory for growers and dispensaries for medical marijuana. It also owns all the rights to a line of health supplements. Ooh. Under the label One Bode, the company offers retailing, branding, and commercial cultivating strategies in conjunction with its business and various licensed medical marijuana, medical and retail dispensaries. Six employees. Wow. Interesting company. Seven million dollar market cap, fifty two week range of point zero point point zero two cents to point one four cents. So two to fourteen essentially. Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm, yeah, no. I don't know. I just, it's too small for me. I am DZ. Next stock. Yes, EVIO is up big. I remember the day when Tilray went up 98%, I think it was in one day, to 300 bucks a share. And I was like, holy. What is this? Up 300%. Okay guys, let's take a look at this one. Up 300%. Just gotta answer a message real quick. I remember, oh yeah, so, 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 so. We've assembled quite a intricate list of cannabis stocks now, if you guys can see. A lot of these are thanks to you guys. Chiron is just absolutely on fire, over four bucks. Flower, one second, second biggest gainer on the day. Yield growth has been on fire as well. I remember when we talked to them, the stock was trading at 42 cents. Now we're at 80 cents. Tilt holding Suniva Kush bottles. Can trust. Can trust has been on fire recently. Chronos doing Chronos back above 30 bucks a share. Afria, even Afria is running like crazy too. Future Farm Tech. Oh, Alkaline Water is in the green now. My goodness. It's looking like we're turning into a green day today. Now, the ETF for the marijuana sector is down, though. Or no, it's not down. It's up 0.14%, but we're being held back by some of those bigger producers. Well, namaste. Canopy is in the red today, down past 60 bucks a share. Medmen in the red now. 401. But it's actually moved up recently. Z-S-A-N. Let's look at that one. Man, I can't believe. Another pharma stock. Holy. What 
is going on with this company. What's up, Brandon? Nice to have you in the room. What are you looking at today? We're just looking at some requ viewer requests right now, right now and uh, this pharma company is up 150%. Five K spec play on can be. We're not gonna get too much into that company. That's a cool G O I G. J Hancock International Growth. Oh, okay. It's a mutual fund. Looks like it. What are our holdings? Let's see what's in this fund. 3% cash, 96% stocks, lots of Europe. Nestle, Taiwan Semiconductor, Unilever, Sony, Airbus. Very, very international fund. In interesting, 5 case black play on can be. Can be, can be first, asset can be income. Yes, we got Max in the room. What's going on, Max? <coughs> Excuse me, nice to have you here. Finally, you could join me on live. Busy day getting windshield fixed, then going to high tea. High tea sounds phenomenal. I miss being in China because they had awesome high tea. I'm sure Vancouver has really nice high tea. Start freestyling on the beat in the background. I think I would lose half of my subscribers in one day if I did that. <laughs> I can't freestyle, man. <laughs> did all the pot stocks report <clears throat> their earnings? No, we still have a few more. A few more. I believe 48 North. I believe 48 North uh, is going to be reporting soon. You miss all the Asian honeys, who are you kidding? <laughs> hey man, there's ones here too, you know? I'm covered in that department. <laughs> Alright, have a good one, Brandon. Just check my phone real quick, sorry guys. All right. I wanna see what's going on for this one. Mm. This one's recovered pretty nicely. Yes, that is very, very true. The mindset is much different here in, in Southwestern Ontario. You nailed that. You nailed that. That's for sure. There, There's a big difference. I can 100% agree with you on that one. The head of the bank, Canada, says <clears throat> his trend-setting interest rate is low enough and is below an inflation level of 1.75%. <clears throat> that is delivering simulated effects to the economy. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> That's why I don't date anyone here, bro. Immune design bought by Merck. Stock went from a dollar to five. Once I'm in Muskoka, look out. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, it's, it's definitely different. It's definitely a heck of a lot different comparing Canada to other parts of the world when it comes to people. So... All right, guys, Cantrust completely on fire. That was another one I wanted to look at. Cantrust, tremendous run. I believe we're being listed soon. Hopefully, it's not going to be like uh, what happened with ACB, where we ran up like no tomorrow, and then we sold off as soon as we hit the New York Stock Exchange. But can't lie, Cantrust is just on fire. Organogram. Organogram's another one I want to look at. Cantrust, Organogram, Cron, all these stocks, top performers. I really didn't expect Cron to be that good though. But Cron is back above 30 bucks. Jeez.
I'll be riding my 250 horsepower jet ski in my chrome thing. <laughs> 250 horsepower jet ski? Please be careful. Wow, look at Kron. Holy. $5.2 billion market cap for Kron, though. For real? That's for kids. <laughs> Alrighty. So. What I want to do now, guys, we usually recap the markets before, but I haven't taken a look yet, but we had a couple more tabs open just to take a look. So US dollar slightly in the in the green. We're seeing a massive sell off for gold, <clears throat> but I'm looking at this as a buying opportunity. So top gaining stocks. You nailed those two immune design and Zosan Zosano Pharma. Other than that, we've got not following any of those. Rogers Communications up 15%. What? That's not the Canadian one. No. Never mind. I thought that was Rogers. I was going to say Rogers isn't going to gain 15% in a day. Higher car. Higher car is up 10%. Hertz Global, 10%. Vermilion. That's not Vermilion Energy. Kirkland Lake Gold up 6.65%. So, whatever. Top losers. Let's see what's top loser stocks. What up, Matt Clay? How's it going? Thanks for tuning in. We're just taking a look at the top decliners on the day. Green Dot. Nothing I'm following too much on that. Next, 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 next. Top losers. Weekly comic Powell Dovish turn fuels V-shaped recovery to much, much to Trump's delight. There's Mr. Powell. Nice. FSD is the biggest loser. <laughs> I'd love to kick the CEO. JCO, do yourself a favor and think about Kirkland Lake tonight. All right, Jake. Jay, I'll keep watching it, but can't say I'm going to buy it. I really want to look at gold now. And we'll look at crude. Crude's hanging in there, though. Gold selling off hard. Gold pulls back from 10 month high as markets digest Fed minutes and trade progress. Gold's down to 1327. We'll see if we can hold on to 1325. I mean, I didn't expect us to push through 1350 in one sharp swing. I think it will take us some time. We'll see what's going on though, guys. I told you gold is going to sell hard when USA and China make a trade deal. <clears throat> it could happen. And I do think they potentially could make a trade deal. But I also read a very bullish case for gold, how the Chinese Yuan is very undervalued. <laughs> the Chinese Yuan is very undervalued. And if, and if the USD starts to sell, it'll be very support. It'll be lots of good support for gold, so it's hard to say. There's a ton of different factors to look at. Lots and lots of stuff to look at, so. Let's check our time now, though. It's almost been an hour, so let me check right aid. We'll check a few more things, and then we're going to head out, because I'm going to shoot my market minute video. And I'm dropping two Aurora videos today for you guys. <laughs> as if we don't talk about Aurora enough. But there's been some awesome, interesting articles that came out about Aurora, so I wanna drop those vids. Right Aid, I don't know much about this company. 
almost a billion dollar market cap. Let's see. Drug retail store chain. Retail pharmacy, pharmacy services. So they sell drugs. 60,000 employees. What? How's that work? <laughs> Interesting. I would shoot the video live, but um, I've already got them pre-recorded, so I'm just going to drop those. And uh, as for the market minute, it's like uh, I need to, to, to use another camera that's not hooked up to this, and then I mix it together. So, Wesley Strong, thanks for all my videos. Thank you for tuning in. Huge pharmacy chain of retail stores. Interesting. Interesting. The stock's pretty cheap right now. Low of sixty cents, high of two dollars and fifteen cents. Hard to say. I'm not too big into pharma, and if I'm buying speculative speculative stocks like this. I'd rather buy a cannabis company or something, but thanks for bringing that to my attention. Is that the camera over the futon? Yes, the camera that's behind this computer. Automation can bring the stores back. No employees, no overhead. Good life networks, any thoughts? <laughs> Massive news for ACB. ACB to buy Canopy. Just kidding. Then we'd have 3 billion shares outstanding and we'd be trading at like $2. <laughs> yeah, so for ACB, I don't know guys, the stock is, we're the turtle now. ACB is the turtle, but I don't mind it. I, I, like I said, I do want it to trend a little bit sideways to downward. Want to pick it up at eight bucks, but don't know if we'll make it there. Dixie Brands is a sleeper right now. Working with Chiron and Oxley. I'll take a look at POTN. Take a quick look at Oxley, and then we're going to bounce. Let's go, let's go, let's go. POTN. Hmm. Five years. Ooh. Hard to say for this company. Very small market cap, seventy six million. Marijuana business services. That's a pretty cool one to look at. We've looked at that one before. Good Life Networks. Haven't looked at that one yet. Just want to look at Oxy real quick. XLY. Thanks for those two likes, guys. Anybody who just came in and gave me two likes got me to 40 likes. Thank you. Come on, Oxley. I don't want Oxley on the OTC markets. I want it on the TSX Venture. Yeah, Oxley's looking like we could potentially be putting in some support in and around 70 cents, 70 to 75 cents. The stock sold off like crazy after they broke that FSD deal. So we'll see if we can make some recovery. RNX at 60 cents, down 5%. Royal Nickel Corporation. I know we were talking about that stock, Max. So down to 66 cents. Are you buying the dip today? It's hard to say. Hard to, hard to say. No problem. I have absolutely no clue what you're talking about, but I liked it. A little stock market way over my head. <laughs> <coughs> it's all good, man. We're here to talk about stocks and the cannabis stocks. RNX is good to get in at 55 cents. Yeah, I think at 66 cents, we're still... A little too overvalued, not overvalued, but I just feel like we could pull back a little bit more. This one, just like first mining gold, I think we should wait a little bit. 
Wait for a little more of a pullback in uh, gold and silver. The only stock I am looking at right now, though, in terms of the uh, in terms of the precious metal space, is Fortuna Silver Mines. This stock took a beating, down almost ten percent. Recently, they announced uh, there was some seasonal rains that put a delay on one of their projects. But I like to buy the bad news. So at 487, Fortuna is looking pretty attractive to me. Been a super long-term holder of this company. It's been up and down and hit a high of about 12 bucks. So I think it's got some room to run. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up this stream. RNX goes up 30 cents every time their quarterly report comes out. So yeah, we're going to wrap up this stream. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to be shooting more videos and dropping those two videos on ACB. So stay tuned into the channel. I appreciate you guys watching and um, trying to do a collab with Tom the Trader. So hopefully soon. And we're doing a collab with Investing Hustler today, hopefully. So hit that like button. Thank you again, guys, and uh, we will see you very soon.